I am a native Californian. Born and raised in San Diego, I have been out of the country several times, if you count Tijuana. I volunteered for emergency wildlife rehab for several years. I even rescued a golden eagle and bottle fed several raccoons and possums. That's why I have trouble killing them. Don't have trouble killing rats. I paint in oils and acrylics, done tons of yard art. And that little squirrel there, where's my finger? Where's my finger? There's my finger. That little squirrel there, I won a thousand dollars because of him. Of course, that was 20 years ago. It did look better then. I crochet. I have crochet. No, I have, I crochet. Love to cook and make, as they call them now, ready meals. We always call them TV dinners. This way, I just go grab something out of the freezer, pop it in the microwave, and I've got a full meal, and it's all stuff I like. I did craft fairs for years. My last one was in 1990. They started charging way too much for the entrance fee, and then you had to pay for license and didn't mind paying taxes on the stuff. Did pretty good until they started, did pretty good until they went out of favor and people weren't going to them anymore. And they were charging a lot more than you were making just to set up. Oh, there's a hummingbird way up there. My birthday's 215.51. I'm not old, I'm just older. In my head, I'm 18. Had my DNA done. It might not have been a good idea. My whole life I was told that I was German, French, Mexican, Indian. My grandmother was supposed to be Mexican and Chickasha and Apache, and my grandfather came over from Germany. Have no idea about my dad because he was an orphan. So I had my DNA done. Well, come to find out, I'm 100% European. Dang, now I can't even make tacos right. You used to be able to make tamales, tacos, refried beans. They haven't turned out right since I found out what my nationality really is. I quit punching the time clock in 1985 and became self-employed. Loved every minute of it. Have had several different occupations. Cooking, three different restaurants, a liquor store and a department store. The department store was 10 years. It about killed me. It was a registered checker. Whoopee, stand in one place for eight hours a day. It kills you. Then I went to work for an area agency on aging. It's supposed to be taking care of senior citizens. It was more like visiting your friends every other day. I'm living in the house that my parents bought when I was six years old, and I bought it off of them. I've never been married and have never had any children. I had one brother. I'm allergic to wasps. They put me in the hospital twice with anaphylactic shock. That was quite an interesting adventure. <laughs> I'm only afraid of one thing, and one thing only, the wind. I love earthquakes, lightning, thunder. I just don't like the wind. I can't think it's because they can do so much damage and you have no control. They can blow over fences, break down trees, blow off roofs. I used to do a lot of crafts. I used to do a lot of craft, but not anymore. The arthritis, tendonitis, pinch nerves, and fibromyalgia kind of stopped all of that. I used to go down to the desert every weekend to take care of my daddy, but daddy died in 95. I have green eyes. My favorite colors are orange and purple. I've always got a song in my head. Sometimes it's Ding Dong the Witch is Dead. Witch, oh, witch, the wicked witch. Ding Dong the Wicked Witch is Dead. I do not have a bucket list of any kind. I have nothing I want to accomplish, nothing else I want to do. Those lovely nights when I can't get to sleep, I say the alphabet backwards in my head. I get sleepy during the day now. I have a very sensitive sense of smell and we have a mexican restaurant and a smokehouse not too far away oh that smells so good i have seen a ghost 
He was the husband of one of my clients, and I was fixing her hair, rolling it up all nice and pretty, and she lived in an apartment attached to her daughter's house. I heard the front door, I looked up, I looked through her double doors, and a man walked by, and he looked over, he had a beard and a gray hair, looked over, smiled, looked straight ahead, and kept walking. She didn't notice him, and I excused myself and went looking through the house because we were supposed to be alone and I've never seen him before. Couldn't find him anywhere. That didn't really bother me, but, you know, where did he go? A couple weeks later, she's showing me family pictures, and there he is in the same clothes. Weird or weird? I really like Neil Diamond. I have panic attacks, but they don't really bother me anymore since I'm not driving to the desert. And I have no reason to go anywhere. And my favorite restaurant is In-N-Out Burger. I'm a cheap date. I own three chainsaws and one's on a stick. I've had my YouTube channel since April 4th, 2016. Thank you, Mick Watson. I started gardening back in 1985 when I stopped punching the time clock and started an actual life. That should be at least 30, and I don't want to do this to anybody else, so if you want to give 30 facts about yourself, be my guest, but I'm not going to nominate anyone else.